Well, goddamn, I guess it had to be said. Devolver Digital roasts the 2020 game showcases and caps off with a speech that will go down in the gaming history books. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, um, Devolver Digital had their showcase. And they're not always known for big AAA titles particularly as of late. They're more known for their wild and crazy G4 era type showcases though. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, in years past, because of how E3 was and what I was going to E3 for, I wasn't looking so much for a showcase spectacle more than I was looking at games that I would be interested in being showcased. So in previous years, I've never really gotten to their shows, even though people have always said great things about them, especially people that, like me, love the G4 era of gaming um, with, with their type of banter and their type of slapstick hu humor and stuff like that that G4 TV presented, right? So I've never had a chance to sit down and watch one of their shows. This time I did, and I'm glad I did, because in the advent of games, just look, let's be honest, Games are just not being showcased in the mannerism that they have in previous years. If you match it up to previous years, it has been lackluster in how these games are being shown. And we've warned about this. When you hold these companies to their, when you let these companies hold themselves rather to their own devices, they're gonna set the standard real low because all they wanna do is give you just enough and you go buy their, if you're gonna go buy their console anyway, cause you ain't got no other choice, then why should they even jump out the window to excite you? And E3 in contrast, put everybody on the stage and force everybody to look to their left, look to the right and say, you know what? I really gotta do better right here, right now. And so, and because they didn't have a chance to sit back a month or so or a couple of weeks and, and and analyze what the competition did. They had to perform better right then and right there. They didn't know what the competition was gonna do. So because they didn't have being able to scan their competition show at their disposal, they had to knock it out the park because they didn't know what to expect from their competition. You see what I'm saying? And I got us more enthused in the games that, that made sure that that, help, that helped them to a litmus. And we're not getting that litmus right now. Again, because we let these game companies hold themselves to their own devices. Now, with that being said, as we get back to the Devolver Digital Show and how they how they injected themselves into all this, it's not that the games that they showed were super fantastic. I mean, they showed Serious Sam 4, which is a time exclusive for Stadia, yay! But outside of that, I've seen a couple of games that, you know, I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, interesting. Not really my stick, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. But in this being the year of, I mean, we're not getting stellar showcases of games anywhere. So it's all about the showcases themselves. And in a year where it's about the showcases themselves, Devolver Digital took the time to hit the stage show you their games the best way that they could. I think they did a good job showing their games. Not all of them were for me, but that doesn't matter. They did an excellent job showcasing those games, but they took the stage to say, look, we're gonna utilize our time to just pull the scab right off, all right? And we're gonna pull the scab right off on the lack of creativity that we're seeing right now in gaming. I mean, and they mocked the shows and they said they were suffering from a power vacuum and it was the ending speech that I believe the CEO of Devolver Digital, I think, I think that's who she is. She gave this speech where actually she's crying through the speech. I don't know if that was staged or not, but it see, it was really impassionate, right? And you know, whether the tears were not original or not, you could tell she meant what she was saying. 
and she she wasn't sitting there boohoo and she was saying it with like this veracity and i was like like, like again that's missing from gaming with all this kumbaya gaming and you can't say this or do this it was refreshing to see her get up and, and, and look directly into the crowd and say what she said with the velocity that she did and she basically said look here's what's happened y'all basically have become foils for these greedy gaming companies they tell y'all what to like y'all fall for it and what y'all have essentially done is just basically go back and forth and battle and fanboy over showcases rather than the games that you're getting in your hands yourself yourself themselves and then so when you get the game in your hand and you didn't bump it up against a viable litmus opposed to how something was shown on the stage and it's crappy then you want to start boohooing to the to the hills it's too late then hold people's feet to the fire now is basically what she was saying and that's something we've been saying on this platform for so long so long so my overall thoughts is i think this was the best speech not only of the showcases not only of the year and i know we still got a few couple of big showcases coming but i dare i triple dare quadruple dog dare you to think that xbox or playstation is going to hold people's feet to the fire like that even within their own industry even within their own uh um camaraderie no it ain't happening she was talking about them so I think that was the best speech that we heard in a long time. I'm willing to say it's gonna be the best speech of all the showcases. And it just highlights that reflection is needed. You know, um, I personally, I'm still trying to understand the need of these new consoles. For the simple fact that you got one that's simply an up-res machine where the leader of the gaming division said, I don't, you know, hey, if I could kill cross-generational games, games that, you know, are specific to a certain box. And because we maxed out that box and only that particular box can do certain granular things that you can only play. We want you to get the best experience out of this game. So we closed off all the older versions that could hold it back as far as the innovation that we could apply. He said, I don't care about that anymore. Just buy the goddamn games. I don't care what you, and, and, and the fact that matters, their approach to cloud gaming isn't one for a, 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 to technologically enhance uh gaming for you it's just basically to allow you to play in different places and that's not the approach from a stadia or even an amazon they want your gaming experience to just be enhanced all the way around and when it comes to cloud gaming phil spencer doesn't talk like that he just wants it to be a tool for you to play in different places so you got one company that talks like that then another company wants you to buy their box when they have games that they're showcasing for that box that look like that they could just be done at full capacity on the older box. So I'm still wondering why do I need to buy any of these new boxes? You know what I'm saying? Look, people, we got to demand better. More innovative gameplay and hashtag the 60 frames per second standard. Because if we don't hold them to any standard, do you truly think they'll hold themselves to one? Uh -uh. And that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, I'm curious what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies. PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadium Dosage. And with that said, have a wonderful gaming day. And check out that Devolver Digital Showcase. The link will be below. Peace.